All right, we got about a dozen albums to get into, so, so let's many, uh, bro. kick right into it. Uh, Jake. Starting off this month's album recaps, we have Inertia, who have dropped their debut album, Second Shadow. I'm sorry, I don't know if the back heard that. Debut album, mind you. This band is the future of Australian metalcore or Australian post-hardcore, whatever the fuck you want to classify them. Inertia is the future. This is insane for a debut. This is so fucking good. And I think what makes it even more impressive and what made this hit even more is the fact that uh, they only released three singles. And uh, two of those three singles, being Static and Too Far Gone, are in my opinion some of the weakest songs on this album. So when this album comes out and a majority of the album, like a majority of the best songs on the album are brand new, that feeling hits different. There are very few albums in with the recent trend of so many bands releasing singles. And yeah, I could just not listen to those singles, but uh, I like the dopamine of new songs. So I continue to listen to the new <laughs> singles that they drop album single number seven for an album and do not care. Uh, but Inertia did not give me that option. So they left so much of the best stuff for the album drop. Songs like In Rapture, songs like Dying to Let You Go, Second Shadow, The Seeds That You'll Never Sow. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and the way that it all comes together from front to back, it feels really cohesive and diverse and just across the board vocals instrumentation production mix everything is there and it's a fucking debut album it's unbelievably impressive i think the world needs to know how much of a masterpiece leviathan is yeah yeah i was waiting to mention it but leviathan is the best song on this album and it oh, might not part. be close guys leviathan is my least favorite song on the album no what the fuck it's the only one no. I didn't save. How? Criminal. I don't know, man. Now, granted, this album is so fucking good that I will need to go back to it over and over and over again. Yeah, at you which point like, it may well, grow on me. You are going ago. to like a, you are going to like Leviathan eventually. <laughs> I feel like I'm I being can, I cannot I cannot <laughs> fathom <laughs> Leviathan being your least favorite song on this album. I, that is I can I can accept it given the rest of the songs. I am just shocked that the Inertia Thornhill special didn't get you on first one. I'm not a Thornhill fan. Let's be clear. I don't oh, like that's, Thornhill. That's Jacob. Oh, that makes sense. What? Don't you like... You, <laughs> let's say... Let me put it this way. He likes Thornhill more than the rest of us. <laughs> as far I like, as I know. I'll, I like some songs from the Dark Pool just because I've seen them And that is time. more than we like Thornhill. <laughs> <laughs> All that to say... Yeah, the Le is, is fucking good. Like... It's such a it's such a good blend of um, uh, inertia's primary vocals um, with the uh, uh, Thornhill um, Jacobs vocals. Uh, it's just that's me. So clean, uh, and that's just to highlight most of this album. Like for a debut single, um, we didn't even album. talk about Memoria when that dropped. We we only talked about it in our award show this like we're we're getting like true impressions on it as it as it's relevant and looking at th this track list i'm looking at uh leviathan dying to let you go static replicant second shadow Seeds way to skip over in rapture i sure did wow uh and just all all these other songs are just yeah, like in Rapture. Um, I I skipped over in Rapture because I was getting to it, Jake. Ya bitch. Damn, bitch. <laughs> Good as ass. <laughs> the, in Rapture is probably yeah, I would say my top three on the album. Oh, that's not know, the, that's like... not what I was expecting. Let's fucking go. Good job, Justin. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were about to say Rapture is like your least favorite song on the album. No, my least favorite is still Dominion by far. Um, but Dying to Let You Go, I, I think kind of 
put me a little bit at ease to to Dominion a little bit. It kind of got me got me into the the grasp of the the song and the the structure there. They're heavier before. sound. Yeah. Um like songs like Seeds That You Never Sow and Enrapture, I, I think are sold a better because of the first couple of songs on this album for me. Uh, well, we're kind of on the topic of dying to let you go. The fucking breakdown a minute and 30 seconds into this song is fucking disgusting. One of my favorite breakdowns I've heard all year. Just the delivery on dying to let you go and just the slow build up into it with the like drums going back and forth in each year. Um, just fucking phenomenal. And then the guitar tone and everything about that breakdown is just has blown me away. It is a rare moment of a song that I don't like repeat front to back. It is a rare song that I will purposefully skip to the one minute and 20 second mark just so I can hear the breakdown over and over again. There are very few songs that have a moment that is so good that I will go to a timestamp just to listen to that specific moment again. Dying to Let You Go has been one of the few songs this year where it has left that much of an impact on me that I have just skipped a part of the song because it is that good. Uh, just incredible work on that. And then Dominion, I know you said it was your always favorite song on this album, Justin. I still absolutely fucking love Dominion. In the same way of Enemy at the Gates by Canterbury's Dominion is just another one of those sh uh, short and quick, pissed off metalcore songs. I absolutely love the delivery in the chorus of systematic suffering is part of the game. Symptomatic, everyone's got something today. I wish I could, I wish you could feel the way I do just absolutely phenomenal and the instrumentation is fantastic there as well followed up by enrapture which has an incredible guitar riff to open up the song catchy as hell chorus it's just and honestly like i could be saying this stuff about just about every song on this album uh second shadow reminds me of wishful sinking by bless the fall with the uh kind of distorted breakdown it's like a loose comparison but it was something that I definitely noted. And then also the chorus on Second Shadow as well. The take what you want from me. It's given you everything. It's never, it's never enough. It's just super catchy as well. And then you get the back half of the album. CG Never So Decomposed Too Far Gone. Lament. Uh, Lament has like a slow build. Is a fantastic way to end the album. Counterfeit, we haven't even touched on that. Is the opener has a slow build that has a fantastic... Um, drop towards the later half of the song and then it smoothly transitions into leviathan as well it's just like i struggle to find flaws with this album this is my favorite album of the month and it's not particularly close that's a valid take actually wait it's not close hold on it's not damn. close oh damn what about, nah, these, what about these three what are you talking about those are like all quintessential jake bands <laughs> Quintessential we'll indeed, we got to it. Chris Crummett, thank you for your service. God, this album Chris, is so fucking good. I think... Chris yeah. Crummett special. Am I allowed to... Hold on, let me go look at my albums of the year to make sure I'm not tripping. I think He's this leaving. is the best metalcore album of the Everybody year. Everybody get your notepads out. Yeah, I would say this is the best metalcore album of the year. Nope. You, write that down, write that down. Yeah, this is, this is one of the best metalcore albums of the year for sure. It it's one for there only being like two or three songs that directly transition into one another. I was very surprised by how cohesive this album felt in spite of that. Like all the songs had a very similar idea to them, but they were executed just differently enough that I was engaged the whole time. Mm. That's rare for a metalcore album nowadays. And maybe that's just me being disenfranchised with a lot of the state of current metalcore that this is done to the nine. It also feels said. like no song really steps over each other, if that makes sense. No. Where like no, every song all. feels distinct. Like there's only one Dominion on this album. There isn't another short and quick pissed off metalcore song on here. Um there like there isn't another song that has like a slow build into a huge drop like counterfeit. And even like some of the more generic songs on here, like an Enrapture or a Second Shadow or Dying to Let You Go, they all have distinct moments that separate themselves and distinguish themselves from metalcore yeah this is beautifully done shout out inertia again as mentioned before debut album if you're sleeping hop on the inertia train yeah inertia like i i will be astonished if inertia are not like one of the next bands to blow up out of australia 
Absolutely. This album is too good to not go absolutely huge. And I mean, I think they've already kind of started. They were supporting Dayseeker on the Australian tour recently, and I'm sure that mm-hmm. brought in some numbers for them. And uh, getting the Jacob Charlton feature on Leviathan, getting some of Thornhill's audience over, I feel like Inertia are absolutely on a very fast upward trajectory. Absolutely. They have all of the kind of pop and R&B aspects to them but they also have the technicalness of bands like invent anime or an era yeah there's just way too much to love here for them not to blow up i will be so shocked yeah i'm really curious um it's not a matter if it's just like when we're gonna start seeing them overseas god yeah honestly that's that's a yeah that's a really good way to say it. inertia it's like it feels inevitable that they're the future it's not it's not when it's it's not if it's when I need them to get a different label so I don't have to pay $20 for vinyl shipping. Um, it, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to That's just the average orders. life of a Canadian. All right, well, I'm not <laughs> used to injustices, okay? Justin Trudeau is not my guy. These are not things that I normally <laughs> right, have I, to deal I, with. I have a solution. I, I have a much, proposal. He's much better than our current options. Hey. <laughs> I have a proposal. I don't uh, next know. hive mind meetup in Australia, so you can just buy it in person. Facts. I'm gonna we die. Jake, that sounds like a perfect pins. idea. You I'm should buy our tickets. I don't have that kind of money. Sorry. <laughs> We're gonna boat. Oh, you a hive mind sailing trip? Wait. Yeah. Let's just <laughs> sail across. The <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that. Then we'll do our <laughs> mixtape, and it'll just be all Derek songs again. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, 